Hello, welcome back everyone to another episode of Train of Thought. I'm Inigo and I will be playing with trains and giving you thoughts. This is getting faster and faster every time. I made this thing pretty. Isn't it pretty? Actually, there's a ramp that leads up to nothing here and then a low bit, which doesn't make any sense. I'll have to fix that at some point, but I'm sure I'll forget. So last time, we um, delivered a whole bunch of petrol to this place, and that makes chemicals. Um, petrol can go here, and chemicals can go here, and then make, um, they make farm supplies which can go there. So that's good. Unfortunately, Barning had Portland. Oh, I thought they hated me. Apparently they don't hate me. That's good. I mean, that's what you want. Presumably. So we're gonna put... Two rows here. Do you hate me yet? Mediocre. Okay. Yeah, I, I figured that couldn't last. So we're gonna put, attach this and then hopefully they won't... Barning at Portland? Yes. Although this is very nearby, isn't it? Ah. Yeah, it's fine. Although I might not need as many then. And then we also want to have some here. Okay. So let's just remove remove this then. I think we don't need those. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll do a little loop the loop there. And I guess we'll do a little loop the loop here. So many loop the loops. So many loop the loops. And then we'll do one there and here, and then it'll all be good. So some people have expressed um, surprise at the fact that do-it-yourself MMO is not always exciting. Like, I've, you know, who knew that building an MMO was not always exciting? It's almost as if it were work. The next episode for Do Yourself MMO for this week has been recorded and I'm act it's actually a bit more engaging because I'm doing a lot with um, changing the terrain. So please do check that out. What do we need here? We need ugh, tanker trucks. Articulated tanker trucks? How much litres? But what is the running cost? This is like one litre less, but it also costs a lot less. But they're also a lot less fast, but that doesn't... I don't think that matters. So we're gonna... So we want them to carry petrol. And I think I'm just gonna... Because some of this stuff we're gonna move out of um, Bar Barninghead. Barninghead, Portland. Oh wait, it's just Barning Head. Why is this Portland then? That makes no sense. Yeah, some of it we're gonna move out. So... Yeah, let's see if this works. Because we have had some issues trying to do this before. Okay, people are happy, celebrating. Happy, happy, joy, joy. So you also want to have... Are you serving this as well? Let's see if you're serving that as well. Um, I think you are. It's kind of hard to tell. Yes, you are. Okay. That's fine then. So, uh, what, what, what were we doing? Oh yeah, you want chemicals, right? Yes, you want chemicals. So you're going to be chemical truck. And get a full load and then click this away and then go here. Something else I've done in the past week or so since the last train of thought is put up the web version of Ultra Hat Dimension. So if you are on Linux or Mac or any other platform that has a keyboard and a browser that isn't completely stupid, 
I'm gonna need a longer station, aren't I? Nah, for now it'll do. And then we can just we can just put a put a thing there. Hmm. Yeah, we can just put one of these. Wait, is that? Is this not actually part of that? No, oh, it is. Okay. So then this can go over here. I was not trying to explode that at all. I was trying to build a road. That a, that's two entirely different things. And just drive by the lake. I guess we'll have to do a little thing here as well. Actually, let's just put that there. Yeah, so um, uh, it, it, there's already been an annotation on the screen, if I'm not an idiot. So please do check that out. The fun thing is, uh, like, I finally got it up and running and stuff. And um, this makes... This is the wrong one. So you make things. Are you actually making income? You are making income. That is amazing. Mm. Damn. Now we need another row of this. Are they going to let me do that? Nope. Nope, they're not. Fine. See, see if I care. So you're making um, engine... Yeah, so I, I finally got this. I can't flog and train at the same time, even though I'm doing trucks. Farm supplies. Okay, who does farm supplies then? No. Hopper? No. Scrap metal? Farm surprise supplies, I mean. And uh, we'll get, uh, I guess, whichever has the most farm supplies. I guess that's this one. And yeah, this is going to be a bit janky, unfortunately. But there's not much we can do about that now, is there? No. And it turns out that um, Google, in their infinite wisdom, has decided that some browsers are not worthy of running WebGL and they have just a blacklist of drivers and, and hardware configurations that they don't like that just don't take... it doesn't work on WebGL. So if you're using one of those browsers and you're trying to run Ultra Hat Dimension and it doesn't work, I do apologise, but it's not my fault. It's Google's fault. So really, what you should be doing is being very cross with Google and being like, now you listen here, mate. Um, I don't know where, where I was actually going with that. So, you know, just, just be like, now you listen here, mate. And then just leave it hanging. And it'll be so awkward that Google will be like, well, that was awkward better do as they say and then uh, everything will be good but yeah just just use firefox just use a browser that isn't terrible even though most people use um uh chrome but you shouldn't because it's not that good i mean firefox is not that good either but it's less bad which is uh good ish it's less bad ish let, let me put it that way so yeah, that's uh, what we've been doing. Um, Ultra Hat Dimension is actually doing quite well on the social medias, which uh, makes me happy. Is there... Oh my god, this is so far. Look look at where we've come from. Look at where we've gone. Where we're going. This is going to take forever. Um... Let me just do this off screen because that is not interesting to watch. Well then, we, um, we've made a bit of a railroad over here. 
all the way down there. So that's a thing. Um, now what we want to do is um, connect it up to here, which is a bit of a problem because we have this, but this is like a one-way railroad, which is why you should never use those, because now it's in the way. There's also, unfortunately, kind of an airport in the way, but what we can do is do that, and then we can... Uh, ooh, this is hard to see. Thank you! Now I've lost count of what I was doing. Stupid thing. I so we want to have this one lower. Does this work? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is amazing. So now we need to attach this here. <laughs> oh, this is finicky. Okay, let's see if we have everything on the same side still. Okay, so this, the right side is coming in. The right side is coming in. Do remember, kids, the right side is coming in. So that would be down here, it would be the bottom side. So the bottom side is coming in. And that's the wrong kind of signal. So we're going to put that there and put this here, but we want to change this. Because this wants to go in here. Are we going to make this bi-directional? I mean, we might as well. So we want to have one going in there. And then if you're coming from here, you might want to go in here. So that'll go in there. And then if you're coming back, you want to be able to go from here, but you're also, you also want to be able to go from there. I think that's right. I'm not entirely sure. So then what we want to do is we want to put one of these there. And one of these here. And then remove that. And can we put that under there? Hey, that is cool. This is actually going to be a kind of tidy intersection. I didn't think it would be, but apparently it is. So again, we're doing the path-based signaling. Where... Oh, this is going to be an issue, isn't it? Let's see if we can... Yes! Okay, good. Let's shave one more chunk off there. And then we can do this. Ugh, that is so tidy. I did not think that would be a tidy thing, but it may have worked. Of course, this is going to be the problem intersection in a few hundred years. Because you always have the one, the one problem intersection, and I bet that one's going to be it. So, just so you know. Oh, I can't see with all these trees in the way. It's so annoying! So now we just need to hook this up and do all the signals. And maybe get over this water here. By not doing that. Oops! That is wrong and bad. I'm trying not to demolish, like, the natural rivers, because I quite like them. Yeah, I do have to do this, don't I? Oh, well. Yeah, this is going to be a more trainy episode than usual. I hope you're all okay with that. I mean, other than telling you that to go play Ultra Hat Dimension, there's really not that much to report this week. Also, because it's only been like half a week since I made the last episode, because for once I'm actually doing my best at being, you know, expedient and getting these episodes edited and recorded earlier in the week as opposed to later in the week when it's a big ass hassle. So hopefully I can actually get this one ready for encoding. Oh, that's one thing I can, can say, my quest for a freeware video editor, which has been long and arduous. Because first, 
I started on um let's just do, do that there. Yeah, that's better. Um No! Stop that. Stop it. First I started on Linux, because there was OpenShot, but OpenShot was kind of shoddy. Hey! <laughs> and um it, it basically, once you had a lot of, it was very slow to begin with, and like very slow to play back. Um, that is the wrong way around. I will never learn how to do these things. Apparently, yeah, open shot was not that good. It, it was good for like small videos that didn't require a lot of edits and clips and cuts and special effects and stuff. But as the complexity rose, that program just completely failed to be able to handle the demands of what I was putting on it. So that didn't work. And then I went on to uh, work with, oh, I forget, some other editor in Linux, but that required actually for me to um, update Linux, which failed. So I had to completely reinstall it. And then I wasn't pleased with that editor at all because it just it it didn't allow you to have gaps between videos or like yeah so it's basically it was very tightly um, every clip had to go after another clip there was no putting a lot of blank space in front of a clip which is a problem if you want to have like one clip above seriously 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 okay thank you um, if you wanted to have one clip, like, overlaid on top of another at a certain point. So, I'm sure it could have done that, but I, I just couldn't be asked figuring out how, basically. That's basically what it comes down to. So, at that point, I found out that Blender is actually a video editor now, because Blender is everything. Blender is basically a life. I'm just making signals. I hope you're having a good time watching me make signals. S singles? Signals. Yeah, something like that. And it's not half bad, honestly. I have to say, I'm, I'm reasonably impressed. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you, you know, merely enough encoding options. Not nearly as many as I'd like. Which is highly unfortunate. And when I tried to encode um, Train of Thought on it, the, the quality was just poor. It was just really, really poor. And then it crashed when I tried to do a, a raw AVI of it, so I could encode it in virtual dub. Which I do prefer to do, because that actually gives you access to all the options. Well, so that didn't work out so well. And then someone introduced HitFilm 3 Express to me, which is actually a half decent video editor. I say half decent because after using it for a while, I tried to use it for do it yourself and that didn't work out so well for me. It was a little bit unfortunate. Um, how do we do this? Yellow signal. Good, 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 good yellow signal and then a normal signal and then I have blocked that off which is you know that's fine I think that's fine I mean ideally I wouldn't have that blocked off I don't need to don't use the bomb on pieces like this because then you're gonna explode your entire station and they won't let me build a new one that would have been quite an issue if, if I do say, why did I zoom out? I didn't try to zoom out. You can't tell me what I did or did not do. I just hope that these trains will stop. Like, let's speed up and see if they'll still turn around. Because they should just turn around at the end of the station and pull out the other way. Like, you're supposed to just flip, out, flip over. Now you do flip over. Okay, I don't know why the other guy didn't do that before then but that's fine 
I think that's fine. So I was trying to edit uh, DIY and um, that didn't go so well because after like I extracted, I had like nine recordings because I did so many cuts in the episode three. And let's uh, get a train going here. Let's, let's clone, clone him. You can, you can do a thing, right? You can, um, am I doing all of them if I refit it? Yes. Okay. I want you to carry petrol. And just delete these and then go, hmm. Might need more tracks here, actually. Maybe. I don't know. Nah, it shouldn't be that bad. Um, yeah, so I had all that done and I had the audio track and then I added that to hit film and then I put in all the MP4s in a row to hit film. And the MP4s came out to two minutes less than the WAV file and I couldn't figure out why because it was fine in Blender. So then I went back to Blender. And I've learned that in Blender, if you set it to, uh, to encode a raw AVI, so you can encode it in a virtual dub afterwards. That'll, that'll do. Let's just um, check, check this out. This is going to take a while, isn't it? If you set it to record an AVI and then you just minimize it and you do not touch it, just don't touch it, just, just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't touch Blender. It doesn't like being touched, okay? Respect Blender's space and privacy and its desire to remain untouched by filthy human mouse pointers. And then it's fine. And then you have like a 200 gig raw AVI, which you can load into virtual dub, which is still my preferred way of encoding anything. And then you can just do X264 encoding and you know, if you use CRF, I don't know what that means, but if you use like CRF, that's always a very good time. I'm using CRF zero to encode with open broadcaster software, just so you know, in case you're one of the people who are interested in such things. This is gonna make me a lot of dosh. Do you know that dosh is British slang for money? No, you do. Um. Yeah, so we're probably going to watch this train do its thing and come to... Oh wait, I just had a, had a horrible idea. Does this actually take petrol? Oh thank god it takes petrol. Ah, ah, that's... that could have gone badly. That could have gone really badly, I would say. I would definitely say such things. Of course now all the petrol that's going to be made in Bluffing Head Bumbleberry is um, Barneyhead Portland? Barneyhead Portland. It's Bluffing Head Bumbleberry. <laughs> I think that's a very good town name. Don't you? I do. It's all going to be routed here, which is a bit of a problem. Until we start running trains elsewhere with petrol. But I just wanted to get this up and running and see how that works because it was always the idea to have that place just level, deliver oil, 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 oil the oil, all the oil, yeah, deliver like petrol and chemicals to New Butway and you know the, the actual civilized world as opposed to what we have down there. Eventually we can use that massive railway that we built to actually run like passenger trains and stuff as well for people who want to visit a place that isn't terrible, which is to say New Butt Way. But yeah, it was, it was for the oil. I only care about your chemicals and petrol. Bluffing berry. Dingleberry. I don't know. I don't even know how you, what your town is called because you hate me. So I'm just going to keep using Blender. It's it's a very good video editor. You can actually group and look, it's going. So this is going to be the airport eventually. So it's going under the airport into the middle of town. Let's just turn the X-ray on because I think this is exciting. I think this is a very exciting junction. This is wrong. Is this wrong? 
go in here. Okay, but if you're coming out, then you need to go in there. Yeah, that's wrong. Okay, I did that wrong. So do that then. And don't... Don't do this. That, that, no! No, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, so if you come out here and you want to go in here, that's there. And if you go out here and you want to go in here, that's there. And if you go out here and you want to go in there, that's there. And if you want to go there, that's also there. Are you? Are you my train? You are my train. Oh my god, look at the dosh that made. So that's a thing that happened. And um, that's uh, trains. That's trains for you. So yeah, if you haven't been keeping up with DIY, maybe you want to check in now. Because I'm actually getting, you know, more, there's more stuff that happens faster and gives you more of a sense of a world being built and more visual feedback. Also, one thing I've done, I'm just going to stay on this now because there is, um, I, uh, lost my train of thought. Ha! Appropriate, given the name of the vi video series. No, um, at DIY, I, I put, like, um, uh, at the, the start of the episode, it, it shows a little progress, like a couple of clips or still images of the progress that I'm going to be making in the rest of the episode. So you actually know what you're going to be working towards, what the end result of the episode is going to be. I think that's going to be much more better. Anyway, do do take a look at the DIY. Um, episode 4 is going to come out. This is probably going to go up on Thursday and DIY is probably going to go up on Saturday. So do keep your eyes peeled, and if it's been a bit too dry and code heavy up till now, please give the new episode a bit of a chance. I'm sorry, just sometimes making an MMO is a bit boring. So if you have survived that episode, good job. I'm proud of you. This has, uh, go away. This has been Train of Thought. We're going to save... No, we're not going to load. Stop spazzing. This is, uh, the, this has been Train of Thought. Has been? Have been. This has been Train of Thought. Episode uh, 13, apparently. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!